Welcome to the Fairbanks Community Food Bank, a place where community comes together to help each other out. Here at the Fairbanks Community Food Bank, we collect local surplus food and give it out to people in need. However, we also help over 100 other agencies around our community by supplying food for their programs. And we do this largely with volunteer labor. Each day, we rely on 30 or more volunteers to sort the food and build the food boxes. Keeping over 3 million pounds of good food out of the landfill and giving it to people who don't have enough? Now that's a community that shares. We have been doing the same work since 1982. Food isn't the only item we need around here. We also need two to 300 boxes each day to pack the emergency food boxes in. That's why we collect local surplus boxes from all around our community. We use those that are a good fit and crush and recycle the ones that are not. That's about 500,000 pounds of boxes recycled in one way or another each year. Hi, I'm Sam. Great to see you here today. Safety is our number one priority out there. That's why we wrap our pallets. This is why we can stack them way up high on the shelves until we need them. We don't want any can to fall down from that height. Speaking about heights, that's why I have a great big garage door back there. So we can forklift items up onto the second floor. This is a USDA area of our facility. That stands for the United States Department of Agriculture. And it means that the food you see here is provided by the US government. This food helps supply 1,500 households with supplemental food to help fill up their empty shelves. We provide this USDA food not only around the Tanana Valley, we also serve dozens of villages across the state. It takes some large tools to run a food bank warehouse. These wonderful forklifts and trucks are provided by foundations and companies that want to make sure that we can move the food as efficiently as possible, keeping our costs down and our community fed. This might be a surprise, but in order to stretch our donor dollars, we have our very own micro turbine. A microturbine is a jet engine that makes its own electricity. The byproduct of electricity is heat. So by running this jet engine, we're able to produce most of the electricity we need for this entire building. To keep our warehouse warm. Stretching your donor dollars even farther. I'm gonna end this tour today by having one of our local children tell their story. My name is Mary and I was in the third grade, which means about eight years old. I was struggling in school and didn't do a good job of making new friends. I also spent a couple days a week going to the nurse's office. After several weeks, the nurse asked me, why am I seeing you so often? Is everything okay? My response was simple. Oh yes, I have a wonderful family. We just have a large family and not much money, and it wasn't my turn to eat today. That's pretty scary for an eight-year-old. And why wasn't I doing well in school? It's very hard to concentrate when you're hungry. What about making friends? Well, when you're hungry, you're often grumpy too. Ever heard of being hangry? My family was doing everything they could, but our family car kept breaking down, so my father wasn't able to be a reliable worker. That meant he could not keep a steady job. The nurse, heartbroken at the story, did a couple of very important things. She reached into her closet and grabbed a granola bar, one that had been donated to the Fairbanks Community Food Bank for situations just like mine. Then the nurse gave the granola bar to me so that I could have a little bit of food in my tummy before I went back to class. Next, the nurse called another agency that could find a volunteer and help them repair our car so my dad could get back to work. And then the nurse called the Fairbanks Community Food Bank. Their lovely volunteers sorted bread, 
to make sure there wasn't going to be any mold on it. And they checked the eggs to make sure they weren't broken in the egg carton. And they packed enough food for all five of my family members. That night, for the first time in ages, my whole family was able to eat together. Remember, it only took one granola bar to make my day better. So every gift to the Fairbanks Community Food Bank is precious. The volunteers packed those food boxes aren't doing big fancy things. They are doing simple things like sorting cans and checking bread for mold. But thanks to these simple tasks, my family was able to have three days worth of good quality food as we worked to get my family back on track. Sometimes the simplest tasks are the most important tasks. Thank you. So what is our goal here at the Furbanks Community Food Bank? We want to be the best stewards of the gifts that our community gives to us. Each pound of food, each volunteer hour, and each donated dollar is counted as precious and used to help those who are struggling in this community. Fairbanks Community Food Bank, neighbor helping neighbors. So are you interested in volunteering here? We love having you here. Each shift lasts about two to three hours and makes a huge difference in the lives of people who are struggling to know where their next meal is coming from. If you're under 16 years old, then please have your parent or guardian give us a call. But know this, you are wanted here. About one third of our volunteers are children and they just want to help those who are in need. Like me. Each dollar you give, each volunteer hour you share, each can or box good, each potato you grow in your garden goes a long way towards helping people in need at the Fairbanks Community Food Bank. Thank you for joining us for the tour of the Fairbanks Community Food Bank. That's 4-5-S-H-A-R-E